What if I told you guys that there's a way to get out Commander Don Dozo alongside with Shen Pao? You guys heard that correctly. There is a way to get Don Dozo with Tatsugiri's boost and then have Shen Pao next to it, doing some crazy damage and just dominating the match. We're going to be showcasing a team today that allows us to do that on the rank ladder and hopefully you can grab some wins with it. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started with today's team preview and going over how we can actually pull off this combo, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, DK Trading. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. We'll be linking your channel down in the description below. So definitely go check them out, guys, and show them some genes love over there. But in order to pull off that combo, we have a special Pokemon on today's team, and that is going to be Explosion Electric. This Pokemon can explode, killing itself, doing some big damage, and at the same time allowing us to do this combo. So, to pull off this combo, we would have to lead Electrode and Tatsugiri over here. Tatsugiri has Endure, which we would use turn 1 and explode with Electrode turn 1. So, Tatsugiri can endure all shots, leaving it at 1 HP, and then exploding will allow Electrode to just switch out. So, Electro goes down, we swap into Don Dozo on Tatsugiri who has 1 HP, he hops into Don Dozo's mouth giving us all the commander boosts and then Toxic Orb is going to proc, killing the Tatsugiri in the next turn, allowing us to bring out Shen Pao and ladies and gentlemen a fully boosted Don Dozo. That's the plan for today, hopefully we can pull it off at least once, but this team also has a lot of synergy around it to be good without the combo. You got the Dragonite Shen Pao, you got Fluttermane, you got Tatsugiri and Don Dozo by itself, which works wonders. Cannot wait to use this team and grab some wins with it. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be that Electrode with Static and the Covert Cloak as item, so it can't be faked out. It's got Explosion, Protect, Thunder Wave, and Bolt Switch. Second Pokemon is going to be that Tatsugiri. Like we already mentioned, it has Endure, but then its other three moves are going to be Muddy Water, Draco Meteor Protect, and then that Toxic Orb adds its item. Dondozo is going to be our third Pokemon. Big, bulky, big time physical attacker with Unaware in the Chesto Berry with Wave Crash, Earthquake, Rest, and Protect. We got Shen Pao. Loving this Pokemon so far on the rank ladder. Really, really strong, especially when paired up with Dragonite. Got the Swords of Ruin as his ability, the Focus Ash as his item, and then this one's got a different moveset. Icy Wind for Speak Troll. Pretty cool. And then Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner, and Protect. Fluttermane is going to be our fifth, and not just any Fluttermane. This one is a Choice Specs Fluttermane with Protosynthesis, Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, Moonblast. Love this moveset for a Choice Spec Fluttermane. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be that E-Speed Dragonite, but this one has Choice Span, making E-Speed do a little bit more damage, and then a few different coverage moves with Ice Spinner, Low Kick, and Fire Punch. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Electrode Dondozo team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going to try to pull off the Don Dozo Shen Pao combo in match number one. So regardless of who they have, we're going Electro Tatsugiri as lead, bringing Don Dozo and Shen Pao in the back end. But we're going up against a Shen Pao of their own with Espe Dragonite Palafin. Then they also have Arcanine, Fluttermane, and Amoonga. So I'm down for this combo. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. I really want to try to pull it off here in match number one, just to get this video started off on a good note. That'll be absolutely amazing if we could pull it off and at least win the battle or maybe come close to winning the battle. But I feel I feel like if we could pull off this combo pretty good, our Shen Pao and Dondozo could just rip through the match and pretty much sweep it. Because we got EQ and Ground Thoracization with our Dondozo. Could absolutely just kill it for us. But let's do it. Let's showcase how to put out Dondozo and Shen Pao at the same time. I should say fully boost it. Dondozo and Shen Pao. So at this point, we're just going to endure. We are going to explode. And we're just going to go from there. Explosion. Endure. And we're going to try to get off as much damage as we can. At the same time, putting our Tatsugiri down to 1 HP. So they end up Terrasalize. Is that going to be just normal Terra for E-Speeds? That's fine. I mean, if you take out Electro, that's not a big deal. But I'm hoping you just go after Tatsugiri, right? But I feel like you have to go after Electro at this point. Like you have to go after Electro. See how one plays. So we end up enduring. I'm kind of hoping they just go go up to against uh, Tatsugiri here. So E Speed's gonna come out here. That is going after Electro, who just gets dumped on. Okay, Shen Pao, can you do some damage to me, please? So the explode didn't come off, but I think everything is working fine. Cause I think this thing is just gonna go for like an ice move or something and bring down a low HP. Yeah, that's fine. Ice Spinner coming in hot onto me and put me down to seven. That's totally fine. I mean, that, work, that works fine. I mean, we don't get off the damage for explosion, but everything should work fine here. Because now we bring out Don Dozo. I can protect this turn. I could EQ if I want to. 
And we kind of just go from there, right? I think EQ is going to be a play. I think EQ is definitely a play. I mean, they have Shen Pao out already, but I would love to get my Shen Pao out there. I would love to do it, but Dantozo here. Tatsugiri's going to go down next turn. And I could just protect. I could honestly just protect here. But I feel like EQ is going to be our play here. He's paralyzed. We might as well use it to our advantage, right? Just go into an EQ. And then we'll bring out Shen Pao to maybe just go for first turn priority. So he ends up withdrawing that Pokemon. And who are you going to go into from here? That's the real question. He's going to save his Dragonite. And go into a Moongus. I mean, that's cool. And Shen Pao just protects. Well, we're popping EQ, so it don't really matter like that. It don't really matter. EQ's gonna fly, Tatsugiri's gonna dodge, and good thing we didn't just protect, so we get off some free damage on Moongus here. So Don Dozo cracking up some damage, doing almost half, which I like. And Tatsugiri now gets hit by the poison and goes down. See, so combo working really well here, it's just we did not get off any explosion damage, which is totally fine. But now, see, look what we have. We have Don Dozo fully boosted, plus two on every stat. Next to his boy, Shen Pao. I'm loving it. I am loving it. So from here, I just... I feel like EQ is going to be a play. And then we just protect. EQ into a nice, lovely little protect. I'm all about it. Because then I could just sucker punch the Shen Pao next turn. I like it. This Our opponent's definitely scared. Our opponent's probably like, what's going on? I mean, I have Chester Barry if he wants to put me to sleep. And he just ends up Rage Powdering, which is, again, really, really fine by me. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Sacred Storage comes through here. We end up blocking it. And do I go for double protect? What's my player? EQ is going to fly. How much damage to EQ? Because I would love to just have Icy Wind be able to finish off uh, Shen Pao here. So we end up doing that, and that's a decent amount of damage. And I feel like here we just... Who's faster is the real question. Shen Pao, are you faster than Don Dozo? 205? You should be. I think that's double speed. I think plus two is equal to double speed. So I feel like from here we just go into a Wave Crash. And then we just go into an Icy Wind. I, I can get down with that. So he ends up Rage Powder again. That's totally fine. I'm just Icy winning. Can I go first? Can I outspeed you? I do. Oh, that's beautiful. That is huge. That is huge. Like I said, yo, <laughs> this is my first time using it, but I thought this combo would be OP if I could pull it off. And now we are thriving. We are thriving. We have Shen Pao full HP with Focus Ash. We have Don Dozo, who should be at full HP, but going to lose some recoil damage, taking out Shen Pao. And now all they have is Dragonite left. I still have Focus Sash. I love where we're sitting. I can protect an EQ again if I want to. I have Chester Berry to rest and get back full HP. This combo is insane. It's absurd. It is absurd. Dragonite comes back out here. It is paralyzed. First turn priority is still going to do a decent amount of damage. And now he has Palafin who can't swap out. Game set match. Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. I'm going to just protect here. I'm going to just send some free EQs. I probably should. I should Terrasilize. I don't know what I'm doing. I should Terrasilize my Don Dozo here. I should have a while ago, actually, just to pop EQ and get more damage. Because it does have the Ground Terror. But I should Terrasilize my Don Dozo to make this match easier. But, yo, that's game, set, match. This combo. Loving it. Love that we started off today's video with that. Look at that damage. It's going to end up hazing me. Hey, yo, chill. That ain't right. That ain't cool at all. A little bit of haze action. That's fine. We're still chilling here. So our stats are low. We're back to normal, I should say. And do I Terrasize here? Do I still Terra? What would Terra in the ground do? Nothing really good for us, right? Would Terrasizing into flying be a little bit better for us? At this point, I just want to wave crash into you. And then I think I just sucker punch the Palafin if he wants to go for an attacking move. So he goes for E speed. Into you. Okay, that's fine. And ouch. Chill on me, man. Sucker Punch gonna KO you. And then Wave Crash should finish this match off. If not, my Shen Pao can easily 1v1 this. We still have Focus Ash. Game set match. I feel like Wave Crash should KO. We have no stat boost, but still. See you later. Game set match. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you get out Don Dozo and Shen Pao at the same time and absolutely dominate your battles. Second match coming at you guys, and we just pulled off that Don Dozo and Shen Pao combo. No problem in match number one, but we're hopping into our second match, going up against a Deli Deli Bird team alongside Palafin, Shen Pao, and Dragonite, and then Mousehold and Annihilate. So, really strong team here. Really strong yet annoying team, right? They got a lot going on. They have a lot going on, but Shen Pao Dragonite is going to be good for us because it's going to be good for them. So, we might want to bring it and try to counter theirs with ours. Um, hmm. What else could I bring here? But definitely want to lead those two. 
Definitely want to lead those two. I mean, if they go into Annihilate, that could be a little bit of a problem. I kind of want to bring Fluttermane, but Dantos or Tasugiri is not bad here either. I just feel like Annihilate's a problem, right? Annihilate is a problem. So do I lead a Pokemon like Fluttermane? Mm, I feel like we should go into these and bring Dantos out on its own. This one seems like it's going to be tough, especially with Annihilate Mousehold, if they opt to lead that. That could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem. Maybe I should let a Pokemon like Fluttermane Don Doza, right? Because Fluttermane, most of the uh, Annihilates are fire, so Fluttermane will force it to kind of Terrasilize, and then we can just Wave Crash into it. Because Annihilate's tough to play up against, I feel like, especially with Terrasilization. It really makes this Pokemon that much stronger. Like, if, if Terra wasn't a thing, Terrasilization was a thing, Annihilate would, he would still be good, but he wouldn't be as good as he is. So, Terrasilization really helps it thrive. Because obviously, like, Flutter Maze could just gleam through the uh, follow me's, all that, hit it, do some crazy damage. It'd be awesome, but with Terrasilization, that just makes Annihilate 10 times stronger. But they have to go into Palafin and Mousehold. So they might just hard swap into Annihilate here. Definitely a possibility. I might just E Speed and Terrasilize to get after the Mousehold, right? I could low kick. But I feel like Terrasilize and E Speeding just straight up into the Mousehold is going to be your play. And then instead of Sucker Punch, we're just going to Ice Spinner right in this slot. Because I feel like it just hard swaps with flip turns, right? Into Annihilate or something. I would love to go for a Sucker Punch or like an E-Speed in that slot. But it's just not worth it, right? With him swapping into, say, Annihilate, it could just counter my first turn priority moves. So I'd, rather, I'd rather just go for an Ice Spinner. And if Palafin opts to stay in here, it's fine. Which it doesn't. Told you guys. It's just not doing it. Is it Annihilate time? It is Annihilate time. So I wonder what he's going for here. If he goes for a follow me, I'm pretty sure the mouse hole just dies. The mouse hole kind of needs to protect and you harass Is that a ghost mouse hold? Don't tell me. Don't you tell me. Yo, chill. Chill on me. Chill on me. I can sucker punch that. I can sucker punch that. That's a great terror. Oh my god, my Dragonite does nothing right now. It's E-Speed Choice locked. It's easy speed choice locked in two ghost type Pokemon. Okay, I feel you. I'm gonna just hard swap it into Flutter Main Seer for later. It could be very powerful for us. Well, follow me ends up coming out here. And Ice Spinner's gonna fly. But I think this thing's just kinda looking to bulk up. But I think getting out Flutter Main's gonna be your play. So we're doing some nice, lovely damage here. At this point, yeah, we're going to opt to go into the Flutter Main here. I'm going to go into the Flutter Main. I am just going to go for another Ice Spinner. Do I take out the Mouse Hole? Mouse Hole could protect. I think I just go after Annihilate, chunk up some damage onto it. While well, we can, right? Because if it's going to bulk up, we might as well get after it. It could go for a beat up here as well. A lot of different options for this Annihilate. I'm terrified of it because I doubt you're going into the Dragonite slot, right? I highly doubt it. I mean, you can with a with a, a fighting move, but now we're Flutter Main. I doubt you're going into it with a Ghost Moon, because it, it would have no effect. You're not predicting my Flutter Main swapping. You're just not doing that. But also, it ends up protecting, so this is a great turn for, uh, from us. Very, very solid turn from us. Ice Spinner's going to fly. Do some nice damage. Lovely. And he bulking up. Drain Punch. Great swap from us. Great, great swap from us. So now he cannot terrestrialize his... Annihilate and Dazzle and Gleam Choice Spec Stab should be able to KO. It's super effective as well. Loving it. So Gleam's gonna pop out from here from us. And do I swap Shimpao and maybe get out Don Dozo? I could get out Don Dozo because I kind of want Shen Pao to be there with Dragonite more so than anything, right? What's my Terror type on you? Oh, I already Terrasize. Fairy would have been great to do this turn, but I like it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end up swapping. The Shen Pao. I would love to just keep it for the, uh, for, uh, what's it called? I would love to just keep it with, uh, Dragonite. Because, again, I feel like this should double KO. If they didn't protect. And we kind of go from there. Super Fang comes out here. Oh. You know, speed me like that. I might just rest up next turn. That might have to be my play. Rest up with Don Dozo this turn. Really depends who they bring out. So we end up critting. Ah, uh, they might bring back out Palafin. Palafin is definitely an option. I'm not worried about Palafin if I can just get my Dragonite out here. But a Jet Punch. Ooh, Jet Punch is scary. 
Jet Punch is scary. Hmm, I wonder what our opponent's gonna do here. It's gotta be Palafin, right? I'm just gonna rest up here. It's gonna be the Iron Bundle, so he's looking to just fake out. Oh no, I, I thought it was Iron Hands. Uh, yeah, we're gonna Gleam again. Another Gleam. Yeah, I like the Gleam. Another Gleam into a rest here. The Dazzle Gleam. Rest time. It's time to rest. We have the chest to to wake us up. I want to go back up to full HP. Especially because I think a freeze drive might come out here. Freeze drive might be able to KO me. But if it KOs me, it KOs me. It's not a big deal. It is not a big deal. But our opponent's play, pr playing pretty good in this back end here. Let's see what they end up doing. There's the freeze drive. Into Fletcher Man. Into Flutter Man. A little weird. Gleam should KO the Nihilate, right? Yeah, it takes out the Nihilate. Brings Iron B down the low HP and now now I rest and get back to full HP loving it loving it loving it loving it so iron bundles not doing any crazy amount of damage doing nothing crazy and I feel like from here we just gleam uh do I take out the deli bird do I get rid of the deli bird here because they might double down into me I might just EQ I think I'm gonna I think I'm going to EQ and Gleam here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to EQ and Gleam. I got to make sure I get rid of this uh, bundle. And at the same time, maybe do some damage to Palafin. So we got our two first turn priority Pokemon in the back end, which I really like. Jet Punch does fly here. And you do not soak. This is exactly why I want the EQ as well. So Freeze Dry is going to come out here. As long as you don't get the, the, the Freeze. Oh, you Ankh? Oh! That ain't cool. That ain't right. That's not cool at all. How do I play this one? Gotta go in the Dragonite, right? That might have just screwed me. I'm trying to think about this. Gotta go in the Dragonite. It's a must to go in the Dragonite. Wow. That Encore doing me so dirty. Uh, I'm going to East Speed. But this bundle protect, there's a possibility bundle protects, right? There's definitely a high possibility that bundle can protect here. But I'm going to still go after bundle. And I guess I'll just hit EQ. I can only rest right now. That's just terrible. Wow, I'm not even asleep yet. I could swap into Shen Pao, just so we're not encored anymore. Yeah, I'm down with that. We'll save down those again. Because down those could be big time. I'm going to swap it to the Shen Pao. And this could be bad for us, especially if they protect and go for a Jet Punch here. Could be real bad for us. Real bad for us. I don't have multi-skill either. Might have been a bad swap. E Speed's going to get blocked. What are you going for, kind sir? A Wave Crash. That's going to KO me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right. From here, Sucker Punch into the Iron Bundle? Or do I Sucker Punch into Palafin? I think I'm going to just Sucker Punch into the Palafin here. Because Sucker Punch should KO. Wow, this is actually coming down to the wire. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a Wave Crash into you. And I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch straight into you. I could protect, but I feel like Palafin's got to attack here. I think he has to attack. And we have to go for first turn priority, considering... Both of them have fast, can be faster than us, like a jet punch, all that good stuff. But Shen Pao's sucker punch should come out before Palfin's jet punch. So let's see what he opts in to do. The protect from the iron bundle always gets me. Iron bundle goes for another protect. We're not going for a sucker punch in that slot. We have to go for a sucker punch into this slot. Oh, no shot. We got a crit to him. We don't KO. That's fine. It's still a game set match. Cool. All right. Awesome. Game set match. No problem. We get rid of the iron bundle. I can constantly sucker punch. I know my sucker punch will come out before the jet punch. And that's game set match. Awesome. 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 So, so two and zero for today's video so far. Absolutely ripping into it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Shen Pao down those. Grab ourselves another win. Let's hop to a third and final. Look for a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. So you know what? Screw it. We're going for the Don Dozo Shen Pao combo again. Electro. Tatsugiri as lead. We're doing it again. We are doing it again. We are dominating today's video. I don't even care who they have, but they got Fluttermane, Chiyu, 
Dragonite, and then they're also rocking Gyarados with Intimidate, which could be a little bit of a problem. And then Amoongus and Tinglo. All right. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. Not one bit. I'm hoping I can pull this off again. Because that was a lot of fun doing it in, in the first match. But just imagine. That's terrifying, right? A fully boosted Don Dozo next to a Shen Pao. I'd just run the battle. I wouldn't even stay around for it. Like, you know you lost. You know you lost if your opponent has that on the field. I don't care if you have six Pokemon. You know you lost. You know you lost. There's really, like, only one way around it. That would be the, like, E-Speed Dragonite down the Shen Pao. But at that point, you just protect, and then you just take out the Dragonite with the Don Dozo. And the problem, another problem is like, oh, you finally get that Dozo down to low HP. He's out speeding. He's going to rest. He's going to chest the berry back up. Night, night, good game. Night, night, good game. But I feel like one of the only ways to counter is maybe they throw, get some burns off on Don Dozo. He's right. He's like that Palfin. But at that point, it was too late. It was really just too late. Uh, our opponent's struggling to pick his Pokemon. I feel like he has to go into, like, Fluttermane here. Because <laughs> he knows I'm going to explode. You see Electrode, you just think instantly. Explosion, explosion, explosion. That's what I do. That's what I do. But this is for this team is for if you want to catch some opponents off guard, right? You can definitely catch them off guard. But they end up going into these two. I'm cool with it. I don't mind it. Intimidate's going to come out here. That's fine. That's fine. You might even protect your Gary here. Or you might even Thrasslash your Gary. I don't care. I'm 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 exploding here. I am exploding. 250 base power. We have no what's our terror type on it? Oh, it would have been electric. We could have volt switch out, but no, we're trying to pull off this combo. Go for the indoor. Go for the explosion. I feel like he he's automatically protecting Gyarados, but I'm hoping more so of a swap out. Because I would love to just get off damage with this explosion. Be a lot cooler. So now he's just gonna help a hand. You're just going to help a hand, and I'm going to endure. I feel like Electrode outspeeds Ting Lu, which could be good for us. And yeah, dude, this combo's working out perfectly for us. Look at this explosion, gonna do some nice damage all around. And then, oh, we get a crit on who? Was that my Tatsugiri? No, it was onto his Ting Lu. But we're also enduring. And you're probably going for like a Stomper Cancer or something. EQ, and you're bringing us down to 1 HP. That's exactly what we want. Like, we wanted it more than anything. Love me some endure. So we endured the hit. We poisoned ourselves. Don Dozo time. I could protect and just get out Shen Pao if I wanted to. I could protect and then just get out Shen Pao, which I think I want to do. Could wave crash here as well. I could also EQ. I have options. I have options. I could Terra EQ. Um, I just want to wave crash into Gyarados. He seems like more of a problem than anything. Our speeds up. Uh, I think we, again, I think we just protect here. I think we just let our, our Tatsu go down. And we're gonna allow him to do what he wants to do. Just feel it out a little bit. I like this. I like this a lot. Plus, Ting Lu doesn't do anything against the Pokemon that I'm using. Or at least its ability doesn't do anything. This is how the combo's meant to work. You explode, you get off some nice damage over on the other side. We actually didn't do too much damage. But you endure on one. And that's what you want to try to get to. Because then you can just protect the Don Dozo. Tatsugiri goes down next turn and then you're ready to go. 2v whatever they have left, right? Uh, in this case, it's a 2v4. Which I don't mind. Like, we're stacked. I don't mind it. I don't think we're in a bad position. But he ends up terrestrializing. And that's going to be probably Ting Lu here, right? With the poison type. In. Into water. Okay, I mean, that, that could be a little, little bit of a problem. I mean, Sucker Punch is going to have to be our friend. I feel like you're trying to go for Fishers here more than anything. Right? Are you going for Fishers? That could screw me over. That could be ugly. That could definitely be ugly. So it goes for the Thunder Wave. Can't really afford it for him to land a Thunder Wave. I might want to just go after He's going to try to go for Ruination on me. Who do I want to go after here? I think I'd rather go after Gyarados. I can't really afford a... Paralyze on me because I like my Chester Berry and my my sleep skis. I really like that. But yeah, let's go Shen Pao here. Shen Pao ski out and about. Uh, did we sucker punch that? That Ting Lu. Hmm. I could actually tear it in the ground just so. Yeah, I like that. Just so Thunder doesn't really affect me, and I'm still gonna wave crash here. So I'm gonna wave crash. I am just gonna go for a sucker punch in this slot. But I still feel like Wave Crash can do a lot of damage. And if you're going for a Thunder Wave, that could be huge for us. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. 
I like where we're sitting. Look at these. The boys are out. Fully boosted Dondozo. Plus two on every single stat. Attack. Special attack. Speed. Special defense. Defense. All boosted up. And now we're not dealing with the electric moves because we're terrestrializing on the ground. I get that we're dealing with the water moves, but I feel like we're fine here. I feel like Gyarados isn't going to be able to get the chance to get off a water move, right? So actually, it was a nice protect from us last turn because we kind of read what he wanted to do. The Sucker Punch comes out here and doesn't really do too much damage here. Wave Crash is going to fly here. How much damage is Wave Crash going to do? Oh, almost KO. That's, that's some good damage. And show me you're going for the Thunder Wave. I don't mind if you're going for Ruination. And of course, you're going to bury up. So at this point, I'm going to Sucker Punch the Gyarados. Yep, there's Thunder Wave. So I'm going to Sucker Punch the Gyarados next turn, try to get rid of that, and then just Wave Crash into the other Pokemon. You just go for an EQ. Nice level EQ's popping here. Gen Pal circle pretty well. Okay, so from here, start to punch the Gyarados. I'm just gonna wave crash you. Do I sucker punch him or do I just ice spinner? I think like I just ice spinner. We already outspeed. We don't want him going after after me with a thunder wave and kind of just KO me with that. So ice spinner's gonna be your play. Smarter than a sucker punch. There's just no need for a sucker punch. Because say he goes for a thunder wave, we miss our sucker punch. We get rid of Gary. Cool, cool, cool. And now we're just wave crashing that thing. And I could go to sleep next turn. Which I might have to do. Wave crash flying. How much damage is doing? Nice chunk. Nice chunk of damage. So I could sucker punch that. He opts to go for the ruination here. And yeah, we're definitely resting next turn. We're definitely resting. We got our chest so battery ready to go. We're just hoping no first turn priority comes out here, right? Let's see who it's gonna be. It's gonna be Fluttermane. Ah! I might protect. I honestly might just protect. I think protect's gonna be your play. Protect and rest. Get you back to full HP. Soak up some shots. Yeah, I'm, I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. So Fluttermane, I'll protect. I like that. I don't mind that. But I only protect it just in case Shen Pao wants to come after me. Well, not Shen Pao. Unless Fluttermane wants to go after Shen Pao. This is a solid match up here. He was probably like, finally, I almost had Don Dozo dead. Nah, son. We go right back to full HP. Right back after it. Right back to it. <laughs> right back to it, baby. Love it. Love it, yo. Chesterberry rocks, dude. EQ's gonna fly here. Be blocking. And then do I just sucker punch down the Flutter Man? And wave crash? Yeah, I think that's our play. 100%. 100%. Wave crash you down. And we just sucker punch. Sucker punch should KO unless you're sashed. Unless this thing is sashed. We'll see what he wants to do, but yo, <laughs> this is so strong. Our opponent's like, come on, man. Chill on me. Oh, Sucker Punch does a KO. It does a KO. Down goes my Don Dozo. Or not my Don Dozo, my Shen Pao. But we have EQ ready to roll. EQ can KO uh, Fluttermane. Fluttermane should be the only Pokemon that outspeeds it. We have a shot here, yo. This is a great battle. This is a great battle. Sucker Punch did not pick up the KO. That kind of hurts. Maybe I should just went for an ice spinner because Shen Pao should have outsped there. He should have. Chi Yu comes out here. The EQ I'm liking. Oh, but the damage output from the damage output from Fluttermane. It's a lot. But we just have to outspeed one of these guys and survive a shot, right? And then that's pretty much game. Is it game? It should be game. They do they still have Terra? They still have Terra, so they're going to Terrasalize the Chi Yu here, which might clutch up for them. The Terra might lose us the match here. No, they do not Terra. So Moonblast comes to rear. We're able to eat. Can you outspeed Don Dozo? I don't mind my special attack drop. You do not outspeed. We lose on that, don't we? We lose on that. That hurts, man. That hurts. We just need to land one EQ and we would have won that match. But yo, I'm glad we got to showcase this team. Two and one. Absolutely love this combo. One last huge shout out to DK Trading for making this combo. I absolutely loved it. Got the showcase in match number one, got the showcase in match number three, and almost win both battles. That last match came down to one move and their Pokemon just being able to outspeed me. But if I let it, or if I, if I landed in EQ, it was game set match. Super effective onto the Chi Yu. Would have taken out the Fluttermane, no problem. Like I said, game set match, no problem. But this team was absolutely amazing. You got the combo, you had teams or Pokemon around it. So combo didn't even matter. Like we showcased in match number two. Even without the combo, this team was still...
top tier potential. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.